I'm here with Dr. Samuel Samwise and he is to, here to talk about xenoglossy and the nature of consciousness. Where do you begin? Well, uh, we begin with the patient. I had a patient after uh, being in psychiatry uh, uh, as a psychiatrist practicing for 17 years and treating this young Western patient with no connection to uh, India or Sanskrit, all of a sudden she began speaking Sanskrit out of the blue. And um, so we studied it carefully with Sanskrit scholar and uh, uh, actually a cognitive scientist from University of California, looked at uh, the material. This young lady was bringing back material from uh, four different Sanskrit related languages and traditions and um, synthesizing it into a, a very powerful uh, declarations way beyond her life experience. So the question comes up, does the human mind have the capacity to expand uh, into a region of uh, vast wisdom and knowledge? Does it have that capacity? So we were very, very uh, diligent and careful to try to identify what these productions were, how extraordinary beyond her capability, how she wasn't studying Sanskrit, even if somebody could study Sanskrit, uh, it would be hard to come up with this. Um, not working with a Sanskrit scholar and even finding one would be difficult. Finding one that could do this kind of production. So we, we did our best at uh, showing that there was no connection and that this was an actual event of expanded uh, awareness beyond one's life experience. But we're not trying to prove the reality of, of her statements. We're just trying to prove that uh, she couldn't do this, that she's actually speaking languages that are so foreign. And, and such uh, uh, abstract, um, deep kinds of concepts, she wouldn't know the language or the concepts. And, and that, that's a, a huge thing, to think that the human mind is capable of expanding into a realm beyond one's life experience and into all this region of uh, vast knowledge and vast wisdom.